Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, glory, worship, and love for Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Ha Raka Kadash, double honors to the outers and apostles of great millstone and shalom to the elect legislation banning assault weapons filed originally published on february 9 2021 gun safety advocates are backing legislation they say would make mass shootings less deadly the group wants lawmakers to ban the sale of assault style weapons and large capacity magazines a proposed bill would make the sale, transfer, or possession of military-grade weapons or large-capacity magazines illegal. All right? And they're not really telling what the consequences are going to be. But uh, knowing Isa, he's coming out with these uh, draconian laws. You might be facing 20 years in prison for each one they find on you. And uh, these are uh, Esau's blessing. So he's going to fight. Uh, and the Lord is setting it up perfectly. I wanted to show this other. Uh, while they're doing that. Right here. Guns in America. Nearly 40 million guns. Were purchased legally in 2020. And another 4.4. I mean Salakia. 4.1 million bought in January. Alright. So while those. Uh devils are trying to ban these things Esau's blessing these Edomites are uh, buying them up because the Lord is setting up uh, a great uh, civil war here in America US gun sales in January surged 60 percent to 4 million 137 480 this makes it the largest single month since figures started to be recorded in 1998 the rise is part of a trend gun sales in the united states rose 40 percent last year to 39 million six hundred and ninety five thousand three hundred and fifteen the figures also represent the high water mark in gun sales since the current record keeping system went into effect increases by state in january varied substantially as has been the case for years okay right here in uh, uh isaiah chapter 19 and verse 2 and i will set the egyptians against the egyptians and you could basically say this is this is the americans against the americans the Lord is uh, arming both sides up. And they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. All right. So it's about to be a uh, all out war here in America, like in Syria. And this is Revelation chapter six and uh, verse. I'll just start at one. And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts saying, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him. And he went forth conquering and to conquer, which is Yahawashai. He is the King of kings and Lord of lords. And when he had opened the second seal, I heard the second beast say, Come and see. And there went out another horse that was red, Arawam, Isa Edom, the so-called white man. And power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword, which are the nuclear missiles, that great sword which are going to be used right at the coming of our King, Lord, and Savior, Yahweh, uh, Yahweh the Father, uh, which is He exists. Baha Shem is in the name of Yahweh Shai, is the Deliverer, our King, Lord, and Savior. Uh, Baha Shem is in the name of the Ha Rakakadash, is the Holy Spirit. All right? 
So um, the, these scriptures are faithful and true. Right here in 2 Ezra chapter 15 and verse 1, it says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You are the Lord's people. All others he don't care about. The words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, said Yahweh Shai, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith Yahweh Shai, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, and that's what's about to happen. The sword, because how do you think they're going to take these weapons from these Edomites or from anybody that has them? They're going to use a sword, which a modern day sword you could say is a, a gun. For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, said Yahweh Shai. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Yet we are complaining. We got to live under this devil with his uh, wicked laws. We want to live in righteousness under Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. We're sick of uh, transvestites. We're sick of homos. We're sick of Esau. We're sick of the two thirds. We want to get out of here. That's why we are uh, repenting, turning from our sins, and feeling sorry for what we've done, and turning to Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai so we can get out of here. And therefore, said Yahweh Shai, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me. All the innocent blood from among them. These people, uh, these women aborting their children. Esau uh, killing the babies. Uh, drinking the blood. The Lord is going to avenge. Everything we do, we have to give an account for. But he will pardon you abundantly if you repent. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, which is talking about America. The Lord is going to bring us out right here. It says, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before. The so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, they're not in Egypt uh, in uh, the Middle East. They're in modern day Egypt. Uh, let me get this scripture real quick. Uh, or let me finish this. And will destroy all the land thereof. Okay. Now if you go to Revelations. Chapter 11. And verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. Make America great. Uh, which spiritually is called Sodom. They got the homosexuals and transvestites. And Egypt, which Egypt means bondage, where also our Lord was crucified. They put that false image, Caesar Boge, up. Okay, so I'm going back to Second Ezra chapter 15 uh, and verse 11. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt, which is America, with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. Egypt shall mourn, and the foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that Yahweh shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed seeds shall fail through the blasting and hail, and with a fearful constellation. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draw it nigh. And one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. And that's how you could tell Esau Edom is the, uh, the red horse right here. Legislation, legislation banning assault weapons filed. 
Guns in America, nearly 40 million guns were purchased legally in 2020 and another 4.1 million bought in January. Then I want to get this one. Uh, Revelation chapter 6 and verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red, Adawam, Isa Edom, the so-called white man. And power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Okay, back in um, Second Ezra, uh, chapter 15, uh, and verse 15. For the sword and their destruction draw it nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. They're going to have these ones. That's why they're, uh, Esau's doing this. He's going to take peace from the earth. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their action shall stand in their power. And we're right about there. These uh, militia Edomites, they're going to uh, start their own uh, their own law. They're going to succeed, succeed, try to secede from America. And they're going to be fighting each other. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Martial law. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed. And men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. All right. So we're just uh, we're just about in Jacob's trouble. Um, uh, repent for the kingdom is at hand. If the Lord is not with you, you will not make it because uh, ICBM Thermonuclear missiles are going to explode here in Babylon the Great. And uh, you won't make it if you're not on that chariot. So repent, brothers and sisters. The kingdom is at hand. Shalom to the elect.